Hi uh, folks, St. Paul Steam here with one of my more aggressive builds. I call this my vintage Jensen 2525 GW for a generator and windmill, but it's even more than that. It comes in right at 700 watts. The tag says 630, but it's, it's more like 700. Uh, she weighs 17 pounds, 12 ounces. Uh, it's on a 19 inch by 16 inch uh, plywood plinth, three quarters of an inch thick. With lots of coats of uh, urethane on it. She stands 18 inches tall as it's, as it's tallest at the, uh, the windmill. Uh, there's a lot to talk about here, so this is probably going to be a long video. Hope you hang with me. We'll start over here with the generator. I've done a lot of work to that. Replace the axle. I think it's got a five inch or four and a half inch axle now. Two five tiered, and these are knurled pulleys on it. And we've got Oilers on top of that, Jensen logo there. Nice big vintage bulb. And we have the on and off switch right there to uh, aid in running accessories. And this is four cast iron bases on this particular plant. We'll move up to the engine here. It has a opposing but matching pulley on there so that one drive band can drive everything. We've got uh, oil cups on there functioning. And... Uh, both of the cylinders on this particular plant do not have any cracks and I uh, did not have to repair them so they're quite unique that uh, they never got cracked over 60 or 70 years. Back here we have a polished copper water tower with brass plumbing. Special Jensen brass decals on the uh, tower itself. And uh, got one on the back as well. And inside we have a measuring decal laminated inside there. And this whole tower has been uh, spray coated with urethane to stay shiny like this. Several coats, several light coats because you don't have drips on this and make a total mess of things. We've got uh, the firebox. And the chimney stand are all custom made by me. You can see there never was a hole there for the heater band because it has an immersion rod heater in it. Got a big, I think it's about three quarter inch tall lug to hold that nice chimney in place and rattling around. Got a very secure uh, cord. I don't like the Hakos so well. They're uh, not too good in my opinion. Got new screws all the way around, the correct ones for Jensen. We've got a riveted three inch Jensen boiler here. One of my 0 to 30 or 0 to 2 bar pressure gauges mounted on top. And I uh, did something I've never done before, which was mount one of these PM Research drains on there. These things come pretty expensive, what they are, but they're very neat. Works very well. I've never had one that didn't work just excellent. But I did a unique arrangement there. I made a custom kind of a banjo screw with a nut that can be tightened there. Because I didn't want this to have to flip over to maybe squeeze it a little tighter. As they need tweaking over time. So, and uh, it's insulated under there and in there. And uh, actually runs pretty cool down below. Uh, here we've got engine number two. Same thing, we've got oil cups on there. And here's where the neat arrangement comes in. Um, I did some testing and I believe this will move about 100 milliliter in four minutes under just above idle. And that's just about right to match the consumption of the boiler. If you speed this engine up, of course it'll uh, lower that tank pretty rapidly. You can watch it almost go down. But we have a check valve there. And then we have a a microcosm pump suitable for twin engines and uh, plumbed all in there and then you can see we are hooked up to the windmill and uh, Jensen supposedly made these back in the 90s you won't hardly find one this is a mechanically imprinted you can actually feel the lettering on that fin I had them special done and I don't have many left it's running out and I can't get them anymore and uh, you can see we've got a cast iron base here, a Jensen steam accessory, 
tag, but they came out worth it one time. And uh, let's take a look around the back. We've got the uh, fin tips on the blade are painted red on the edges. Like I said, we have the logo there as well. Let's see if I can capture that tag there real quick. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. It says modifications by me, and it says it's a. It says 630 watts, but it's 705 amp. 2525 GW. Well, forget that. My overhead light on the far end of the shop went out. Anyway, so here we go. This is the plant overall, and we're going to fire it up here in a second. So thanks for looking, folks, as always. I appreciate it. The uh, full water pump under the water or the uh, windmill has raised ball bearings in it. And there is a, an extra pulley that something can be driven off of this. But uh, idling this along to make the fan look realistic is just about the right speed for the water pump to uh, compensate for the usage. So I'm still learning it. But uh, once you don't put any more water in this tank than you want to use because it's going to pump it all in. But it does suck it right in once you uh, add water to it again. You might have to uh, idle in there, rev the engine up a little bit to get it to take, and then it'll start sucking water out. So uh, this is kind of the technical video, I suppose. And I just uh, wanted to showcase it before I uh, fired it up and got water drops all over the place. Thanks for looking, folks. Bye now.